Hello and welcome to today's tutorial video. Today we will be talking about Sage integration with Tradegram. So in order to get this set up, this is a paid for option. So you will need to contact a member of our sales team in order to get that enabled. If you do already have it, we do have a couple of documents that we can share with you. So for example, we do have a integration document that we would gladly share with you once you have that integration added. Uh, so just to go through a couple of key highlights, what we will provide with Tradegram is the pushing of the invoices from Tradegram to Trade Sage 300. And in order to get the system set up, you will have to connect Sage 300 to Tradegram. So when you have this added in your Manage Company section, you will see these integration options down below. Now I'm just going to take a look at Power BI integration because when you first have it set up, you will have a button similar to this in your, your Sage integration. So it will ask you to authorize and connect Tradegram uh, to integrate with Sage. Once you have that connected, then you do have a few options as you can see here. Now, when you are connecting Sage, there are a few steps that you do have to, to go through. So there will be an authentication uh, that you will have to, to authorize. And it's very critical that you do enable um, pop-up options for your web browser so that you can see this particular authentication screen. Once you have that, you'll just have to follow the, uh, the instructions to enter your authentication, authentication for your Sage 300 account uh, and then create your, your default accounts. So one thing that's critical with these default accounts is once it's set up, the reason these fields exist is if we can't map the data from Tradegram and find an exact item match, for example, to Sage, we need to send that somewhere. And so that's why we set up these default accounts so that for any new items that may not exist already in Sage, Tradegram has a path for it to send that data. Um, so through that, once you have everything configured, uh, you will have an option to say how often you want to have the syncs to copy invoices from Tradegram to Sage. And that's it. So once it's all connected, uh, here you can also export invoices uh, and you can also reset transactions as well. So that does it for Sage integration. Hope this video was helpful and remember, we're always here to help.